didn't mean to cut you short like you really care. <laughs> but the wife was calling out one of the boys because she wanted to brush them. And uh, at that point, I wanted to shut the camera off in case they started making a lot of barking and things. That's like uh, yesterday I was having a little bit of a problem with the ring doorbell. So I called tech support and they said, well, ring the bell. Well, if you ring my bell, regardless of who's ringing it, uh, they bark. And that's just what they did. So, uh, uh, fortunately, or unfortunately, um, the guy I had from Ring was trying to do a job. He was, he was a good guy, but he, he just didn't know for sure what he was doing. And in return, uh, he was driving me crazy. So finally, I got to a point to where I said to him, well, listen, I said, don't let me keep you any longer. Let me go over what we were talking about. Let me see what I can figure out. And if I have any problems, I'll get back to you. And he says, oh, well, okay. Well, have a good day. Blah, blah. Is there anything else? I, I, no, I just want to get off the phone with you. All right. If there was anything else you could have done, I would have asked. I mean, I didn't say that to him, but that's what I wanted to say. So anyway, after I hang up the phone with him, uh, I figured it out. Uh... It was just basically a plain and simple reboot. And that took care of that. So, but like I said, meanwhile, I got the, uh, the new phone here. I got to set it up and get used to it because it's a little bit different from my other ones. Uh, this is wider, so it gives me five icons across. This one is not quite as wide as you can see. Uh, and right now it's only three, but I think I can get another icon in there. You know, they, they get, say, oh, it's a bigger screen. Well, all they do is they stretch it out one way and shorten it the other way. So the length that they're measuring by makes it bigger. But having a phone that's, you know, two foot long and three inches wide is not practical. So, see, this is a good size. Right. This one is almost an odd size, you know, long and narrow, because it is narrower. So, anyway, we'll take care of getting that one fixed. There's an old one. That's still working. This is a Galaxy 3, I think. I don't No, this is actually a Note. It's probably a Note 3. Um, Lance got a hold of this when he was just a puppy. So that was about seven years ago, and he chewed the corner on the screen. So uh, it's still working, but I just didn't like that coin. And it, there's actually a crack in it here that you can't see, but um, it works fine. I have no problems with it, so I keep it out here and use it for uh, all my little things that I got to do out here if I need something in a hurry. So, well, here's a good one. I, uh, I, 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 I. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I guess I can use this. This is a little big. Uh, I don't need one this big. Put that in. Hmm. I guess I can use the uh, Amazon one. Which I think is too big. But, I guess, it will be what it will be. Um, hold on, guys. So anyway, I bought a new Note 9. And, uh, in here is the, supposed to be in here anyway. Come on, where the hell are you? I thought I'd put you in there. Oh, there you are. And there's the Note 5. 
So, um, I called the uh, Samsung to find out a little bit more about uh, getting it fixed. And uh, basically, actually, I guess I can cut that down a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, cut it down right about there. I don't know if you guys ever cut down a box or not, but it's not hard to do. What I wanted to show you is the zip code. If, if they could... I'm going to take care of that, baby. Go ahead. You're talking about when they return it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take care of that. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, this is how you take down the box. You cut the corners, then you kind of give an idea where you got to cut it. Just put a little slice in it so that it will bend. And that's it. So now I just tape it up and we're done. Now, before I go any further, without further ado, I have to cut a little piece of paper here. Okay, staple this. I'm going to do the box. Here it is. I'm going to put this in the box. Put this back in here. Anyway, what I'm doing here is... Uh, they said send it back. Not only did they say send it back, but they actually sent me a return shipping label, a re uh, label, other uh, not a return, but a label that they're paying for next day air. Which was great. They're repairing it free of charge even though it's out of warranty I can't ask for more and they're going to return it so they will get this tomorrow well maybe not tomorrow, not now anyway um, but if I have put this out when they gave me all the information this would have uh, been back to me probably Saturday or Monday cover that cover, well, I might be able to get that off there yeah we don't need that on there there Okay, so now I gotta put my shipping label on there. So I gotta get away from you guys for a minute. Sorry about that. So anyway, like I said, I called them up and I said, listen, here's the story. So they looked it up and they gave me the uh the normal BS. Well, you know, um seeing that you've been a great customer of ours uh, we are going to take care of all this for you free of charge
<laughs> Do you hear her talking? going to drive the UPS driver crazy when they start hearing that. <laughs> the problem being is I can't shut the phone off and the battery won't come out of it because it's a sealed phone. So. <laughs> what are you going to do? Hopefully the battery will go dead. Back at 10. No aspirin for 5 days, 4.13 p.m., 26 back at 10. No aspirin for 5 I can't help it. The battery, I can't get it in the phone, and I can't shut the phone off. So hopefully the battery will go dead and it doesn't catch fire on the way. All right, I'm taking off.